Would you please tell us your name? My name is Mike Flock. And what, what, uh, what have you brought to the harvest today? I've brought pictures of my home where I live. It was built in 1840. It's located just outside of Freeburg. Wow. Um, how did your family like acquire this? Was it just pa passed down? No, it was uh, not a family farm for us. We bought this property in 1988, but we uh, became friends with a woman who was part of the family that owned it for uh, many years through the late 1800s and in, into the 1980s. So she gave us all of these pictures from the farm. And did she give like a certain number of the family, the, your, the photos? Uh, actually, she had the photos and then she gave them to us. Um, how did you hear about the History Harvest? I read about it in the Daily Item. Um, do you know how long the family lived in Snyder County? Uh, my family or the family that owned the farm or? Both. Uh, well, my family's lived here since 1985, but the Moyer family that owned this farm where these pictures came from since back in the 1800s. Can you please show us a few of the photos? Do you sure. Do you have mine? Yep. Pardon? I'll like, get you I mean, I didn't know how you were going to use these, so um, um, I don't even know where you want to start, but it, it was very common to have, you know, pictures of the harvest. And so we have a number of pictures of them sitting around in groups um, after harvesting. In this case, I think it was apples. And this picture is from 1916. Is there anything on the back of it? Yep. Gives the name of the people and taken about 1916. Okay. Do you want me to do some others or? Uh, yeah, sure. We can I mean, there's. You want. Well, there's. You tell me because there's 50 <laughs> pictures uh, here. Is there any really memorable ones you found? Yeah. Oh, geez. Um, oh, gosh. I mean, it was not uncommon for them to have pictures like this where the family sitting out front of the house under a pine tree that was supposedly planted when the house was built in 1840 and that pine tree is still there today. So we have we have pictures like that from various stages. You know, here's another one. This is just a, a family picture. This is from 1921. What was written on the back? On the back it says the names of the people Lincoln Moyer, Linnea Moyer, Anita Moyer, Charles H. Moyer, Lizzie and Margie and May Moyer. Those are the people in the picture. Um, you know, there's, let me see here. Here's a picture of uh, the family. Uh, this is from 1941. This is the Moyer family. Is that outside their house? Yep, that's outside the side, side of the house. Um, here's another one that shows Let's see. There's a picture of them in front of the house on a tractor, and this is from, well, it doesn't say when it's from, but this is the one son, Link Moyer. Um, here's a picture from uh, 1921, just a picture from far away across the field looking at the house and the barn and everything. Here's a picture of the family digging in a water line to the barn in 1931. Do you have like a personal favorite out of all the photos you brought? Um, no, because there's so many that are kind of neat. You know, here's one of, um, it says here, Ralph and Prince. Prince was a horse, the Moyer homestead near Freeburg about 1912. This is the horse he walked through the house. Who knows why he walked a horse through the house, you know, but um, but there's there's lots of pictures here, and again, not knowing. This is May Moyer, who we were friends with, and uh, her, I'm sorry, this is, her niece was friends with us, but this is 1923. She was a school teacher in the area, and everybody knew her because she was the school teacher at a one-room schoolhouse. 
And this is her in her carriage getting ready to go to the school, which was in, I believe, Flint Valley, which is like one mountain over from where the house is. Um, you know, here's a picture of the family harvesting apples, and this is from 1911. Uh, horses were Bert and Bell, uh, and then it gives the names of all the people in the in the picture, and it shows them standing on the wagon, and they were pretty tall apple trees, actually. Um, oh, geez, there's just so many. Here's two of their here's two of their horses, Frank and Maud. This is from 1941, and this was it says on the back, "Poor Frank and Maud, soon before we had them killed." <laughs> yeah, yeah. So I mean, it's like real cheery. Yeah. Here's here's another one um, of the family in front of that pine tree. This is out in front of the house. This is in 1919, and they've obviously just harvested apples. Is that the car filled with them? Yep. There are little baskets on the ground in front of the bushel baskets. And then this is one that we, my wife is one of my wife's favorites. This is one of the sons, Paul Moyer, and he obviously was a violinist sitting in front of the house. Or, or maybe that was a fiddle. Um, lots of harvest type pictures. This one says, Link and tomato pickers on Homestead. Link was one of the sons, the Moyer sons. Was there anything about these pictures that surprised you? Um, no, the thing that's been most interesting for us is seeing pictures of the barn and house at various stages of, uh, like, it, there's a lot of pictures where the house doesn't have a front porch, and then in, uh, well, we're not sure when, but we think it was the 30s or 40s, they added a front porch to the house because um, the neighbors had a front porch, and the, the women wanted a porch to sit on. And one of the ladies uh, that we talked to said that um, their favorite pastime as kids was to sit on the front porch because that was what families did after dinner. They would gather together on the front porch and sit. And uh, when they were, this lady that we knew in the 1980s and early 90s, she was in her 80s then, she said as a child, they would sit on the front porch and count pheasants across the road in the field, and they counted as many as 200 at a time. So this was, would have been back in the 30s or, or 40s probably. But there's, uh, again, lots of different pictures. Um, here's a team of horses in front of the house from 1924. That's Maud, or Mule Team, I'm sorry. That's uh, Leonard and Norman Moyer. So anyway, there's, there's lots and lots of pictures here.